Guys want to read a story here, huh? Huh? It's going to be fun. This one's called My Pet Goat. Here we go. A girl had a pet goat. It's a pretty good start, huh? Yeah. The girl liked to play with the goat. But the goat was bad. He, he ate too many things. He ate, uh, he ate caps, and he even ate capes. And then one day, a robber came. Mr. President, America is under attack. Okay, Georgia, stay calm here. Let me think here for a second. Uh, okay, first of all, I need to, to think about why. Why, 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 why would a goat eat a cape? <laughs> now, now I've, lo I've lost my place in the bus. This kid's going to realize it in a second. Uh, this is bad. What do I do? I guess I could pretend to read it. I'll make it up as I go. Stupid goat. Why's it gotta eat everything inside? Oh no. I just remember, America's under attack. That's bad. I gotta do something. Hello, I'm John Kerry. If that had been me sitting in that classroom on September 11th, you can bet my reaction would have been very, very different from that of President Bush. My pet goat by Siegfried Engelman and Elaine C. Bruner. Lesson 60, page 153. Reading Mastery 2, storybook number one. Scientific Research Associates, McGraw-Hill, 1995. ISBN number 002683-3. Three five five three nine five one nine zero two six eight six three. There doesn't seem to be a foreword or an introduction by the author, so let's just throw caution to the wind and launch right into the main text, shall we? Hmm? A girl had a goat. Mr. President, America is under attack. Children, America is under attack. Now, I don't want you to worry because I am your president and I will spring right into action. But first, let's sit back and marinate on our options, shall we? Option one. Retaliate with a military strike, which I feel is definitely appropriate. Maybe. <laughs> or not. Option two is to review option one for pluses and minuses. Turn it upside down, look for flaws. Option 17, call the Psychic Friends Network. Ask for Miss Cleo. See what she's got to say. Is anybody hungry? We could order sandwiches. Does anybody like tuna? You pick. Oh no, I'm not getting in the middle of that one. Nice try. Good news, children. After much deliberation, I've got a plan. And that plan is to issue, immediately, a strongly worded memo that states, if we are provoked further, swift action may possibly be taken, maybe, including, but not limited to, another strongly worded memo. Can we leave now? We have to go to college. Sure, go ahead. I'll still be here when you get back. Yeah. <laughs>